This is Kilo, and today I am going to show you a demonstration of the M1 MS2 2 in 1 Lishy Pick for the Master Lock. Now, this video was requested by one of our newer subscribers, Alpha. Shout out to Big Alpha for the idea, and let's just dive right in. Now, if you look here, we have a Master Lock. This is known as one of the most high security, craziest, high tech, amazing bulletproof padlocks on the market today. Nobody has ever gotten into one of these that I know of. I know that there are fake videos out there showing that they could be picked with all kinds of crazy utensils. And, you know, I've seen one where a guy used a millworm and just sent it into the keyway and said, oh, look, you know, I trained it to just push the pins up. No, not true. False. Fake news. This is an amazing padlock that cannot be opened. I don't care what you say. But Mr. Lishy made a tool that says he can break into this. So we're going to give that a shot. What this tool is, is a lock pick. If we just look at him, you know, you'd probably be like, what the heck is this? So. If you look at the front here, the key blade is fashioned after a, let me grab a M1 key blank. If you look here, it's pretty, you know, it looks pretty good. It's pretty good, Mr. Lishy. You got skills, sir. All right. So what this is, we're gonna go ahead and open this little arm and this is our tension tool. He's built in. If you are left-handed or if the, you know, in most cases, if the lock you're picking happens to be too close to, you know, a wall or a door jam, there is a little screw here. It's a little Allen screw. You back him out, you slide this off and flip it around and you can tension it from the right side. They also sell um, left-handed lishies. I don't know which models they sell those in. I do, I think they have like a quick set and a Schlage version that are flipped. It, you don't really need those as you could just flip this side and just kind of keep an eye on, you know, which chamber you're looking at. Cause that's all that really matters in the picking process. Once you have it turned over, then you, I mean, then it's flat and you can see it from whatever angle, but we'll get into that in just a moment. So this takes all of the skill out of lock picking, which is extremely dangerous for people to have this tool. Lucky for everybody out there, you have to be a licensed locksmith to own this tool, to even purchase this tool. They won't even ship this tool until you prove that you are a licensed, certified, state certified locksmith. So. You don't got to worry about little gremlins out there getting their hands on these to go break into your fierce, amazing, high security master locks. But we're going to try. So if you are trying to pick a lock right now and you're a novice at it or an apprentice, you might be, you know, thinking you're on chamber one. You're like, okay, he's loose. And then you're like, wow, chamber two is really binding. Chamber three is loose. It's like, well, you weren't really on chamber two. This really takes the guesswork out of lock picking. You don't really even got to worry about where you're at. You can bounce around. Doesn't matter binding order. Doesn't matter about clicks. It doesn't matter about nothing. It's just all about the lishy. So let's see if we can break into this fierce, look at him, intimidating. If you look, it says number three. That means we are victim number three potentially of this master lock. So let's see if we can overcome the threat of being victim number three. That's what the number three, that's what the numbers mean on master locks. It means you're that number victim. They have a lot of numbers because nobody can defeat these. It's proven. So we're gonna insert it all the way in just like a key and we're gonna put just enough tension. When I say enough, I'm gonna tell you like I was taught as an apprentice, if 
the tension wrench is starting to bend, it's too much. If it's not leaving an impression in your thumb, it's not an, you know, it's not enough. If you're bending it, it's too much. So general locksmith wisdom here for you guys. Just, just throwing that little free piece of knowledge out there. So we're going to put, you know, just, just enough tension to just make sure it turns over when we pick him. And we're going to just put him on chamber one and he is loose. Nothing. We'll go over to chamber two. And, oh, got to click out of two. So we'll go to three. Heard a click, but I don't trust it. These master locks are clever. Click out of four. Go back to one. Oh, one is now clicked. Two is set, I believe is the term. Three is clicked. Four, nothing. One is nothing. Two is nothing. So that means I have too much tension. Too much. So let's, there we go. So we have now picked our master lock. We are the only people in the world to do this. It's amazing. It's stellar. Someone should call the news. But now what we do is we go to phase number two in the two in one strategy. And you go to chamber one and you just let the needle drop until he ends on a line. You then follow that line to the correct depth, which this is a zero cut. You then go to number two and he's master lock and they're tricky because their tolerance is so bad it's good. It's not quite a zero, so I'm going to say that's a one. So zero, one, chamber three. We're going to call that one a four. And that one falls right there on a five. So zero, one, four, five. So what we'll do, we will remove our Lishy pick, set him aside. And we will lock up our fierce, amazing master lock. We will head out to the code machine, cut this key. And when I come back, we will see how close we were and see if we can open this lock without destroying it, which as you know, is impossible. There is no way it's fireproof. It's bulletproof. It's amazing look at it. Anyway, we're going to go out to the code machine and try and cut us a key, come back, and we'll see what happens. So we're back out here at the code machine. It is still super windy here in Southern California. Never stops. But we're going to go ahead and cut our code of 0145. So that's number one which is basically no cut. Number two is a one. Number three was a four, if I remember correctly. see if this worked. All right, we are back. We have our key with the code 0145. We are going to insert him and dun dun dun. Look at that. We done it. We did it. We have unlocked 
the unlockable. It's amazing. Just gotta take this moment in. But we have completed our mission today. Shout out to Alpha for convincing me to do this. I hope that you all enjoyed what you've seen. I hope some of you could take away something educational from this video. If you'd like to see more videos on Lishy Picks or you need more help understanding how they work or you're struggling and maybe they're not working out for you, um, one you know piece of advice I can give you right now is you probably are using too much tension like I was in this video on that third chamber. It you know everything felt like it was set but I just had to lighten up my tension and it turned over. So I was overset a little bit. Um, when it comes to Lishy picks, if it's not working, usually the culprit almost 100% of the time is tension. Just like with lock picking, if you are struggling, it's probably your tension. Tension is the most important part of lock picking. It is everything in lock picking. If you don't have enough tension, you're not going to get anything. If you have too much, you're not going to get anything. And them's the rules so if you guys like this video you can feel free to give a little thumbs up and we're up to nine subscribers thanks to mr alpha and i will be putting out more videos on lishy picks as well as i will i'm trying to find another job soon that i can set up my camera to show you guys the Lishy handheld key cutter kind of goes hand in hand it's just with master locks you never know but we're gonna do a video on this pretty soon I will try and impression a key using this tool to show you how this guy works but as always I hope you all have a nice day I hope I helped at least all of you today and you know thank you for the likes and the subs and i look forward to putting out more video on here our videos on here i have been kind of bogged down with a lot of work a lot of calls are coming in so i'm trying to get videos out as quick as i can but i'm gonna try and do at least one a day hopefully two um but thank you all for watching appreciate all nine of you and anyone who's watching this and not subscribing that's cool too but it'd be even cooler if you subscribed you know <laughs> but that's all i have for you today so have a nice day